Good afternoon. Welcome once again to Orphan Car Garage. My name is John. I'm the owner here at Orphan Car Garage, and I'm located in Abington, Massachusetts, just south of the city of Boston. What we do here, in case you haven't figured it out already, is we focus on affordable classic cars, turnkey affordable classic cars. And there's no classic car that's more affordable than the car we have in front of us. These cars have gone completely under the radar for decades, and I have never been able to figure out why, because they're absolutely beautiful automobiles that deserve to be valued at two, three times what they are. But because they're not, it makes them a very affordable classic car for today. And of course, the car we're talking about is the Ford Thunderbird. This particular Thunderbird is from the third generation of Thunderbird, 1961 to 1963. This particular car is a 1962. 61 to 63 Thunderbirds, the third generation, are considered by collectors or by people in the hobby as bullet birds. And you can see why. Sort of that bullet nose front end. These happen to be my favorite generation of Thunderbird, 61 to 63. Very little differences in the 61 to 63, except some maybe trim differences. This particular car, in case you haven't already noticed and the camera probably doesn't show it well enough, is a rare Sahara Rose color. <clears throat> Excuse me. And Sahara Rose is a very pale pink. Stunning. I think it sets this car off perfectly, especially with that vivid red bucket seat interior. It looks like you could eat it. <laughs> it's that good. This car has had a repaint probably about 40 years ago, and it's showing some of its age. It's getting a little thin on the hood and on the trunk lid. We did have the paint completely corrected. You can see it still has a nice gleam to it, but not perfect. There's a little divot there that was touched up. Very nice chrome and bezels. There's some cracking there in the front of the fender, like maybe they laid too much paint there when they did it. But again, from five feet away, you don't see any of that. So it is an older paint job, but still very presentable. Those jet thrusting tail lights, I just love that. It was the jet age after all. Ford sold a lot of these bullet birds, 78,000 in particular, I think in 1962. 78,000, certainly nothing to sneeze at, but you can see why it's a real pretty car. They sort of, um, paved the way for the personal luxury car market. Personally, personal luxury cars really took off in the mid 60s and continued right into the late 70s for all the car manufacturers. And they cared less about performance and speed and more about style, convenience, and uh, personal luxury. I mean, just look at those seats, how comfortable they are. Look at the interior. <clears throat> we have a stack of receipts for this car the size of the New York phone book. In those receipts includes receipts to have the front front bucket seats. <laughs> includes a receipt to recover the two front bucket seats. Let's see if I can say that right. The covers are exact reproductions of the original. So no diversion from original equipment there and they were beautifully installed. Obviously seat belts were also installed not from 1962 but period correct and certainly a nice feature in today's with today's driving we're so used to seat belts now when i was a kid we never wore them but now i wear them every day back seat is original from what we can tell never been recovered and like nobody's ever sat in it beautiful side panels with that silver inlay that wraps right around into the dash the car is not equipped with air conditioning, but does have a very nice heater. AM radio that performs well. It works right to spec. Beautiful gauges, those, those jet age gauges. Automatic cruise matic transmission. There was a crack there in the dash, which is typical of these cars. Nice console, ashtray, lighter, locking glove compartment. The original owner's manual with the original owner's information. This car was sold new locally here outside Boston at a Ford dealer in a town called Milton. And it stayed in the town of Braintree most of its life with its original owner and its original owner's family. It's been in Massachusetts its entire life, which sometimes can be a scary thing when it comes to 60-year-old cars. 
and our road salt here, but this car was spared. Obviously babied and loved and driven very little, if at all, in the winter time. Incredibly solid straight car. Very clean undercarriage, very nicely sorted. The sun is out now, you can kind of get a better glimpse of that Sahara Rose. The pictures and the videos really don't even do it justice. It's gotta be a rare color. I couldn't find production figures on the color, but it's gotta be rare. Most of these that we see are maroon or blue or black. I've never seen one this color. Nice chrome, nice bezels, nice lenses. Completely turnkey car. We just changed the oil. It's got a new brake booster. I just can't get enough of that interior. It's got a mirror on the passenger side. These cars, although still underappreciated, undervalued, have gone up recently. I've seen some go through auctions recently, mid to high 20s, for a really nice example of a hard top bullet bird. Ours is gonna be priced considerably lower than that. Let me get it running for you. I always get asked to run the car, so we're gonna run the car and open the hood. Swing away steering wheel, <laughs> I forgot to show. Of course, the Thunderbird issued swing away steering wheel. This became standard in 1962. It was an option in 1961, and it allowed the driver to get in and out of the car with more ease. Kind of a neat feature that you see on these early uh, bullet birds, a third generation Thunderbird. Starts right up every time, just like that. Open the hood for you. Nice little dual exhaust burble. Well sorted under hood. Nice running engine. I've got a receipt for that rebuilt engine. About 10,000 miles ago, that engine was completely rebuilt. The odometer shows just over 100,000 miles on the car as a whole, but the engine was completely rebuilt about 10,000 miles ago, and I have the receipt for that. 390 cubic inches with a four barrel carburetor. That was standard equipment on this car in 1962. That same engine in a Mustang would be considered a high performance muscle car. Standard equipment in the Thunderbird original washer bag that valve cover could use a little bit of love if someone wanted to remove some of that original patina nice clean sorted engine bay very clean original paint under here the car of course does have power steering and power brakes that makes things a little bit easier in parking lots very solid straight clean example of a bullet bird something you don't see every day for sure Again, another perfect example of a turnkey classic car from Orphan Car Garage. This one's a hard one to let go of, but I fall in love way too easy over here. Take this one off our hands, $14,900. $14,900 for this rare Sahara Rose 1962 Thunderbird that needs absolutely nothing but a driver. Give me a call, 508. 9548090 check me out on the web i have a whole gallery of pictures of this car on the web orphancargarage.com of course subscribe to my page here on youtube we have got a lot of stuff coming up over the next several weeks as spring approaches us here in the northeast finally stuff that you're really going to like and as always this stuff doesn't stick around so Give me a shout, 508-954-8090, 1962 Ford Thunderbird in Sahara Rose, 14,900. Thanks for watching, stay tuned.